Pascal's triangle. Pascal's triangle. Okay. Good job. You got it. Okay. So this one is not saying expand like that other problem. The other problem was kind of a lot. This one is just saying find the fourth term of the expression. Now I did forget to mention this. But when we have our expansion, your expansion is separated by monomials. So this would be the first monomial, second monomial, third, and fourth. One, two, three, four. I forgot to kind of mention that. So when we're saying find the fourth term, they're basically saying find the fourth monomial in. OK? Yes? There are. I just only counted up to four. But yes, you're right. There is five total in that one. But everyone has a different number of monomials, right? It depends on how many expansions. Now, if I'm looking at x minus 1, right? Again, with the negative, I've got to be careful. I probably want to write it as positive, because otherwise sometimes I'll forget. But anyways, if we were to write our expansion, would everybody agree with me that I don't need to remember much, but I know my first term is x to the fifth, negative 1 to the 0? Right? And then all I know is, based on what we found at the beginning of class, I know my x is going descending order. And my negative 1, my second term, goes in ascending order. Right? That's, I mean, it's been the same. You guys notice it was the same pattern. So therefore, this is going to be plus x to the fourth, negative 1 to the first, plus x to the third, negative 1 uh, to the second, plus x squared times negative 1 to the third. Ooh, I can stop. Because it said, just find the fourth term. That's it. Done. I don't need to do any further. They just need to, we just need to figure out what this form is. Okay. So now the next thing, though, I'm going to leave the rest of these terms here. Um, but we just don't need to simplify them like we did in the last example. Because they're not, I'm not asking for the expansion. I'm just asking for what is the fourth, fourth term. Now the other thing, though, is we have to figure out using Pascal's triangle. And by using Pascal's triangle, we have to the fifth. So that means we need to use the fifth row going down to the kintic. So therefore, my coefficients would be 1, 5, 10, 10. Right? You're multiplying each of those by 10, by 5. So therefore, this becomes plus, so it's 10. x squared negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So it's a minus 10x squared. OK? And that's it. That's all you would, that's all that would be on your test. That's all that would be on your exam.